Welcome to chemistry class. Today we are going to learn about the solid state. You know most of the things which we see around us are made up of solid rather than liquid and gases. The solids are the substances which we see in our daily life. For example, the table, the chair, pencil, pen. So many things are there around us which is made up of solid. Fine. Now let us see the characteristics of solid state. Solids are rigid. They have a definite shape and definite mass. They have a definite volume. This means that they take the shape of the container in which they are placed. Okay. The intermolecular distance between the molecules of the solids are short. The intermolecular force present between the particles of the solid is strong. The constituent particles have fixed positions and they can oscillate about their mean positions. Fine. Solids are almost incompressible. They have a greater density than liquids and gases. Solids diffuse very slowly as compared to the liquids and gases. You know, most solids become liquid when they are heated. And this process is known as melting. Okay. So, the temperature at which the solid substance changes into a liquid is known as melting point. The melting point of a solid depends upon the nature of the solid and the melting points of the solids vary widely. Fine. So, now let us understand about the classification of solids. Okay. The solids are classified on the basis of nature of the order present in the arrangement of the constituent particles such as atoms, ions or molecules into two types. One is the crystalline and another is amorphous. Okay. So, crystalline solids are the solid substances whose constituent particles are arranged in a definite geometric pattern in three-dimensional space. And the amorphous uh, solids are the substances whose constituent particles are not arranged in any regular arrangement. Okay. So, today we have learned the introduction of the solid state and to learn more about the solid state and more chemistry topics. Visit, like, share and subscribe chemistry class. Thank you.